Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to week three, day number 15 of commercial diving school. I already uploaded my GoPro video of today's dive, so if you haven't seen that yet, go watch that. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like and leave any comments or questions down below. Now in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what I did today and also a little bit about the video that I shot with my GoPro or video clips um, that I shot today. So um, today was diving all day. Um, this was our third dive we're doing at CDA and it was our first dive we got to do in the river. So the very first dive that we did was in just a regular, you know, size swimming pool. And then the second dive we did was a tower that was 20 feet tall. Um, and then this third dive, we're diving in the river for the first time. So the river is very, very, very murky. So you can't see anything. Um, the most that you can see is right at the top there's you know maybe six inches of clear water and then there's maybe a foot of reddish you know dark brown dark mercury uh, maroon colored water and then below that it's just darkness your eyes do adjust a little bit after you know after being in the dark kind of thing um, but not very much so um, to start off the day, we had breakfast. We had a, we had a pretty good breakfast. It was uh, um, biscuits and gravy. We had uh, bacon and eggs, of course, and um, hash brown. So we had a big, full, hearty breakfast to start off the day. And then right off the bat, um, we started setting up the dive station we were going to be diving at. Um, which means that we started getting the hats from the hat room. And so we got three hats because we had three divers in the water at a time. And so we had groups of three um, so that we could cycle through the whole entire class. Um, and, it, and it would take all day to do this. Um, so we, got, we get all the hats first thing. We hook them up to the umbilicals and then we hook up the comms boxes um, and then we test comms, we blow down the hoses, make sure air goes through them, test the hats, uh, make sure the check valves work, all that kind of stuff. And then we get ready for our first divers. Um, and then so for the first divers, um, the tenders help the first divers hat up and then we go ahead and get those guys in the water. Um, we did about 45 minutes of bottom time in the water. So that means when you leave the surface all the way throughout your whole entire dive until you come up is um, we did 45 minutes of bottom time today. So and like I said in my last video, day 14, um, we were going to be doing sweep. Um, or um, sweep drills, which is um, when you go to do a job and you can't see very well in the water, obviously you have to find that job. So to help you navigate, you you know drop down and then top side can see your bubbles. Well, they'll tell you to face your umbilical um, and then when you're facing your umbilical, they can tell which direction you're facing so then they can say you know sweep to your right so that means just you know walk to your right and then the opposite for your left or back up or go towards your umbilical so that's a way that we can kind of navigate in very low visibility water so we are practicing doing that um, where we are for the school it's underneath a bridge and then there's also another bridge behind that bridge so there's these pylons um, that help hold up the bridge um, we just had the divers go towards those pylons and then when it's your turn to dive you know topside is telling you through your comms 
um, to go touch a pylon. Um, guys were like climbing up the pylon and then waving. Um, not all the way up, but just enough to where you can peek your head out of the water. And then we were like backing all the way up, probably about 50 feet from where we entered the water. And then uh, all the way underneath a bridge. Um, so the typography of the water, which is basically everything that's on the bottom, is like a bunch of rocks. There's some that are like really tall that you can stand on and kind of peek your head in. There's holes. There's really, really soft mud to where you're like, it's like the softest cloud you've ever stepped on. It's just so, 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 so soft. Um, and then there's like cold patches um, where like you, you know, just like you go swimming in the ocean or a lake or something, all of a sudden you hit a cold patch. Um, I felt like bubbles too, where I would step on something and bubbles would like run up my leg or something. Um, but anyway, the video that I shot, if you look at the very beginning, when I'm backing down, like when I'm kind of, you know, reversing, that's kind of like a decline, like a ramp. And you're holding on to the railing with your left hand and you're just backing down kind of like a boat ramp. And then you hold on to the line that's attached to the uh, railing. And then you kind of follow that all the way down until you're underwater. And then we do our, you know, sweep drills. Um, I stopped recording underwater. I only recorded like a little bit of actual underwater because it's just, there's no visibility. So there would be like no point in showing. I mean, in the video that I have of the GoPro, um, there's a certain point where it's black. Yeah, that's pretty much what it would be if I film like the entire thing. You would just hear the GoPro noises, you know, the very loud clicking or whatever of, you know, me, my hand holding onto the GoPro. So there's no real point. Um, but later in the dive, I did like peek my head up a couple times. I found something that was um, tall, so I climbed up on it and then I would peek my head up and then I would like film myself and then I'll go back down and then pop my head back up. Um, so that's what I was doing in the later portion of the video and then at the very end of the video I didn't record myself coming out of the water like I did going in because um, they're trying to you know they were trying to get guys out and then rotate to the next guy and I didn't want to be like filming myself with the GoPro like uh, they're like when they would be like hurry up hurry up but what I didn't know was that when I went into the water it was you know, completely calm weather. It was actually kind of hot. When I came out, it was storming. Like, when I mean storming, the wa the wind was just gushing. There's water, like, you know, spraying everywhere. It was raining sideways. Um, so basically, like, a, a storm when I came up, which was so crazy because I did not expect that at all. But then again, it is Florida, so now I will expect that from now on. You know, just wait, you know, 45 minutes and go outside and it'll be storming. But, um, so I did include like that little portion because I got out of the water, I took, you know, the umbilical off and the hat off and everything. And then I was walking back to, you know, the locker room to, you know, take my gear off. And then I just hit record on my GoPro again so I can film like how crazy the water was and just kind of give uh more footage to you guys of you know what is going on like you see me wearing the hard hat you're going to be expected to wear a hard hat a lot um, if you decide to go to school and uh and that's me like walking back to the locker room and at the very end of the video um and then for lunch today we did have chicken tenders if you guys are interested in knowing that um, it was super good lunch, and then I even know what dinner was. It was pizza. So just overall today, like they had really good meals. 
but I had a lot of fun in the water. A lot of guys, like I went almost last um, out of everybody. I think I was second to the last group. Well, actually I was the last group because we had one more group to go, but it was storming so much that we had to cut, you know, the last guys short and we couldn't actually get them in the water. So they didn't actually get to go because it was storming. But that made me in the very last group of the day. And so, um, so I got to, you know, tend and do communications um, in the beginning of the day. And so, um, but it was, uh, I, so I got to listen to what other guys were saying, what it's like, you know, they were saying it's pitch black, but it's, it's almost like you look up and you can see light, but you look down and you see complete darkness. So, and then the middle is a mix between the two. So you can't really see anything, but if you look up, you can see light. And then if you breathe, your bubbles go up and you can see the light in your bubbles. That's the most that you can see like at all unless you pop your head up over the surface so that's a little introduction to what it's like to dive in murky water um, of a river so overall it was really fun i had a great time i would do it a million times over this was my first time so i didn't want to go too crazy you know touching stuff in the complete darkness um, but next time I know I would be completely comfortable in the water and I can, you know, I can't wait to like actually have to do a job underwater because today we weren't like, you know, we didn't have a task besides walking around. But I can't wait to like actually have a task where it's like put this together like in the dark or whatever. So then I can like actually focus on something. So, um, but yeah, that was the end of week three. Friday. It's now the weekend. So stay tuned for Monday. There's going to be more videos coming out. I'll let you guys know what tests we're doing and what we're going to be studying and stuff like that. I think we're phys fin finishing up physiology and dive medicine. And then I think we're getting back in the water on Wednesday and I'll definitely have more for you guys then. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave any and leave any comments or questions down below and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks. Peace.